TVRs in IPS. Holy shnikers, what are we even talking about? What we're talking about in this micro nugget is in IPS, intrusion prevention systems, how you and I can use something called a target value rating to significantly improve the countermeasures or response that an IPS system can take when a critical system is attacked. Let's jump in. Let's say that you and I have been tasked with configuring iOS-based IPS, the ability for the router to identify intrusions, malicious traffic, and stop it. In an IPS system, one way of doing that is by doing signature matching. And what happens every time there's a signature match, for example, we have malicious traffic like a port scan or a ping sweep. When there's a signature that's matched, it's going to create something called a risk rating. Now that risk rating is a combination of several factors. One of those factors is called a TVR, a target value rating. If we wanted to improve the performance of our IPS in defending against attacks against a specific critical server, what we would do is we'd tell the system that that critical server is mission critical. As an example, let's use 192.168.0.2. And we'll tell the IPS that this device right here is a mission critical device. What that's going to cause is that every time there's a signature, that's destined to that specific critical server, the risk rating is going to be higher. So the more critical a server is, the higher the risk rating is going to be. Now, to this point, we could say, so what? How is that going to help anything? Well, we could also set up one last piece called an event action override. And this is where the magic comes in. With the event action override, we could say, you know what? Mr. IPS, if the risk rating is equal to or greater than, let's say, 90, we want you to go ahead and add additional actions as countermeasures. Deny the packet inline, send a TCP reset, deny future packets from the attacker, and so forth. And that's the magic of how setting up a TVR and telling it that the device is mission critical is going to help improve the countermeasures of any attacks that were going against that specific device. Now to put this all in a nice little package, I've actually set this up so we can see it in action. I have an event action override that says anything above 90 for a risk rating should have an action of deny packet inline if the risk rating is higher than 90. To start off, we're going to attack this device with a sin flood attack. We're going to see that it's working. We're also going to see the actual risk rating if the device is not listed as a critical resource. We'll change the target value rating of that one IP address. We'll launch the same attack again, and we'll see the risk rating increase, and as a result, the countermeasure put in place. Let's go to work. All right, my friends, so here we go. On this device, which is a zone-based firewall at the moment, this firewall, let's go ahead and look at the open ports. Now, I've got SSH open. It's listening. It's willing to take SSH connections, but they're none currently in place. We also have iOS-based IPS configured on R1, and I have a backtrack machine hanging off of switch 2. And what we're going to do with backtrack is we're going to send a sin flood attack, and this is the information we're going to use. Also, I want to point out, you'd never want to do this on anything but your own network with authorization. Never do any pen testing or anything else outside of your own stuff that you're authorized to do. Having said that, we are going to attack this host. He's listening on port 22. We verified that. I'm going to source it as if I'm coming from 10.0.99. So the backtrack machine is really right here, and I'm sourcing it as if I'm a host on this network, which it doesn't exist. That, that host IP address doesn't. And then I have a short, very short timeout. So let's go ahead and launch the attack and see how successful we can be. So we'll go into backtrack. We'll say run, and it's going to go at it. Now as it's running this, there we have, and it's just go over and over and over again. We've got the information popping up that signature 6009 is firing off, and the risk rating is 63. If we pop over to the firewall and take a look at it, I just hit the up arrow key once here, and take a look at the open ports, we've just got tons of open ports from those, those TCP send requests, and he's responding back to 10.1.0.99, which is, again is over on this subnet down here, and it doesn't exist as far as the IP address 99. So that attack could go on forever, and we could consume a lot of resources. How do we stop that attack? What we're going to do is we're going to bring in Cisco Configuration Professional is what I use to configure the iOS-based IPS. And we're going to go to something called the Target Value Ratings. And we're going to add that IP address, 192.168.0.2, as a mission-critical device. That will trigger 
a change in the overall risk rating, which will trigger this event action override to start denying the attacker in line. So that's the balancing ball. Let's go ahead and modify that. We'll add in our 192.168.0.2 and click OK. It'll take just a moment for that to parse. I'm going to move this over here. While that's applying it, what we should see real time is we should see this risk rating change from 63 and it should go to 100. And at that moment, once it changes to 100 right there, <laughs> because now that's done, no future packets are being allowed through. And that, my friends, is intrusion prevention actually at work. One last thing we should check. Let's go over to the firewall. I have a TCP timeout set on this guy for five seconds. So if it's been more than five seconds, none of those should be showing up anymore. And sure enough, they're all gone. To learn more about configuring iOS-based IPS, come visit me in our CBT Nuggets CCNA security. If you have interest or more concern about Metasploit or the Backtrack suite of tools, come see me in our new Backtrack series as well. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.